Um, hey guys, Bo Black Man here, and I'm going to be reacting to Supernatural Season 12, Episode 14, The Raid. When? When? Yeah. When did you start working with him? It's been a while. Since before the lake house. Mm. You kept it from us. Yep. Got Cash almost killed. Cash almost died. Mm-hmm. I watch him die every night. Good. Damn, you didn't say good to your moms? It's like Sam and Dean never did anything shady. No, because I tell my boys about what I'm doing here and they don't like it. I am your mother, but I am not just a mom. And you are not a child. True. I never was. Sure about that? So Before all this mess, you kind of were. It's not like that. Yeah, Mary, it is. Then you made your choice. There's the door. Yo, really? You know how many times Cass betrayed you guys? How freaking Sam betrayed you, Dean? And even when you became a freaking demon, you weren't yourself. And you're gonna tell your moms there's the door? Nah, Sam. that's some shadiness, Dean. You should go. As I've said many, many, so many times, we don't need them. We already have the best, Winchester. Yes, but that's not your call, is it? Or my. So they still want Sam and Dean in the fold here. Hmm. The old man want them on board. As far as Ireland's concerned, where Sam and Dean Winchester go, the rest of the American armies will follow. Uh, where were they when the apocalypse happened and the Aviathans happened and all the other shit storm in the world? Hmm? Maybe we should ask her. What? Look, I, I am pissed and and frustrated and confused too but we've frozen her out for days she lied to us sam see at least sam months. has a head here but like come not. on thank you forgive Whatever forget doing, she, continue she on a good reason a good reason, a good reason for mm -hmm. those ass clowns look I what was the reason for cast you know well, having day, saying yes to lucifer to come um, jump in his like body to try to defeat the darkness i don't see what would happen with dean dean was like we gotta save cast we gotta save cast Mom joins men of letters. I chose this life. I know. When you were going to school. True. To college. Mm-hmm. Then I get why you gave it up. Hey, to be honest, if I want to be, if I can quit college and become a hunter, I'm like 50, 40 on that. <laughs> for us. That's why I'm doing this. That is what I'm fighting for. Hmm. You want to bring anyone to the fold first, of course, let it be Sam. Anyway, welcome. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to shake yeah, the hand of the people you know, who really kind of tortured me. Low budget, mission impossible vibe, but I'm going to have exterminate every last vampire in America. Ooh. Every last one of them? Bro! How did he find them? Uh, then again, Men of Letter is we know all. How did you find us? Then again, the other um, Men of Letter female girl, she found out the bunker the too. No so yeah. What's your disposition to this incredibly rare, unspeakably expensive bottle of barrel proof scotch? Yeah! <laughs> Call them at the right time. Across 12 states, we've killed all at 11. Hmm. Seriously? That's impressive. How? You American hunters tend to see vampires as criminals, rogues. One gets out of line, you show up, lop off its head, and leave town. We treat them more like terrorists. Mm. Uh, vampires may typically hunt alone or in small nests, but scratch the surface and they're all connected from the lowest drone all the oh. way up the chain. To the top. To the elf. Oh, we're doing it with the first vampire in this episode? Well, this is gonna be lit. We don't just charge in this. It's a fortress. 
No one gets in here without me knowing about it. No one. Is that so? Yeah! Hello, my children. Wow, so how did he find out? Let me just say that the Men of Letters is an excellent fit for someone with our inclinations. Our, <laughs> as in you and me. You're a killer. Dean Winchester. Hey, this is one reason. There's like two okay. reasons why he wants Dean. One, because it's Dean, motherfucker. Chest. Two, getting him in will help out the Mary situation. So he's kind of smart here. He brought alcohol, trying to converse with him. The men Could have to keep me busy. You're alone on vamps. I do. Interested. Well, I was kind of looking something up, and it kind of sounded like Vamp, so I'm like, I'm not doing nothing. Though the vampires led by the first one is coming to get the Men of Letters. He wants vengeance for killing his children. Really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Then you could have just beheaded her and be done with it, but you want to go to that town with her? Like, come on. The hunting. Hunting who? The hunters. Ah, uh, but they ain't hunting hunters. They're hunting men of letters. They're here. Well, you guys are the men of letters. You probably got some good toys to kill them. Oh. He did. I would have been shooting at that door like, come on, man. Yo, you have a gun. Use it. Our father. Your father. With the Alpha? No, look, that's impossible. Our intel has him in, in Morocco. It's been there for at least a decade. Wrong. Yeah. Years ago in Hoople, North Dakota. Exactly. Talking about, oh, he's been there for a decade. We've seen him for more than a few seasons now. Since what, season six? Who here has ever killed anything? Yo, you, you, you kidding me? Well, I kill the author. Kill, doubt it, hurt, maybe. You got anything stronger? The cult. And he, he looking at her like. Yo, I better use that cult. Because apparently that could be the thing that's needed to kill. Actually, yeah, because if it killed the mother of all, it has to kill the alpha vampire. If it doesn't, and it has turned out to be one of the things it can't kill, that would be shocking. That cult. Why did you get this? Uh. I stole it. Oh, now she admits it. Romeo. So you're the reason again. <laughs> Cass almost died. We almost died. Damn, that was a nail in the coffin for Sam. You were the recipe for my buddy. Bobby Singer? Yep. All right, Mac, you're gonna need a Bobby. Slice the damn arm, people. Like, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Dum dum, you should have closed the damn door. And there's Alpha. They've been here too long. Yo, he was a vampire this whole time? You're a hunter. Yeah. Oh, he's a hunter. Hunter. Oh. They didn't get involved. Because, well, it's England. <laughs> but America. Oh. Hmm. And then it's time you get off my lawn. Damn. There are five creatures on this earth that gun cannot kill. I'm one of them. What? I know I'd be dead already. Exactly. Because it can't be. Go back to the way things were, to the way things are supposed to be. Hunters and vampires, cops and robbers, a fair fight. And the print. 
Eh, you can do whatever you want with him. I don't care. No. Yo, we're in this mess because of them. <laughs> Let's get out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's his exchange the bullet. Bye bye. It's been a while. <laughs> Cold is back. You're changing the world. And I want to be a part of it. Whoa! So, was that filler? Or was that part of the plot? No, that was part of the plot. People can debate with me if that was filler because they had vampires and all, but no. Again, Men of Letters, they wanted to get rid of the vampires, all of them in America. Well, they were like almost successful. There's like a few that got got away, but they got a major, major win. It took down the Alpha Vampire, the first vampire. And strangely enough, when he was talking to the Man of Letters, he was like, "You know what? You guys were in, you know, uh, UK, whatever." And it's like, "Eh, you guys wiped us out. I really didn't care. I didn't interfere." But this is America. This is my home. So it's gonna be. It was very interesting to see. He's like, yo, you're gonna call, say you either what failed or whatever, and then I'm just gonna drink your dry. So ah, oh, very interesting. And then we, you know, how Sam saw that they got the call. I thought that he was gonna be really pissed off at his mom, but he was like, nah. You guys did a good thing. You guys had a major win. You actually defeated. The freaking alpha and it was very interesting and i knew eventually he was going to come back because you know how um the last time we saw the alpha vampire you know dean was like uh see you next season and we we're like uh we're gonna get him next season but no i forgot what season was that he said that but you know we end up seeing him this one and it had to be his very last time he's gonna appear but wow this is very interesting though but <sighs> very good episode very good but the build up to like Dean like apologizing or just actually just giving like you know forgive and forget like oh you partnered up with these guys it's like when did Winchester's never partnered up with demons and freaking like Anson's Crowley how many times did Castiel, you know, betray the Winchesters and easily forgave them instantly or later on? Or when freaking Castiel said yes to Lucifer to get him out, like... <laughs> Sam was kind of cautious about that. He was like, uh, should we kind of, like, help him? He said yes to him. And then he was like, no, 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 we gotta save, we gotta save. Oh my goodness, like, then again, you know, many um, fans would be like, well, they have a bro, man, it's broke. But no. Then was Sam. How many times Sam went with Ruby? <laughs> oh my gosh, from the get-go, from since what, season three to like four now, it's like, yo, come on now, come on. Then freaking Dean alone when he became like a demon, but you know, you can debate with me with that, but still, this is just ridiculous. And like, how many times did Winchester's ever did something bad or so, and what happened, we forgive them? They forgive each other, forgive whoever their friends were, but I don't know. I truly, truly don't know. But there was another thing that got me, got to me. They were like, oh, if we get the Winchesters aboard, hunters will follow. Again, where were hunters when things turned to shit with the yellow eyed demon? With Ruby? With freaking uh, the apocalypse? Like, occasionally you did see hunters working with the Winchesters, but they were very low in number. Like, we had Bobby, we had, um, and a few others, I can't, Garth, but, again, there was, like, very few of them that we always see them on occasion, or we always say, hey, what's up, but never, like, a bonding relationship or something, like, hunters are going truly, like, anti-social individuals, so, just say, like, oh, they're gonna follow, I highly doubt that, and I remember in season five, we you know, when, the episode where, you know, Sam and Dean went to heaven, like, who killed them? Freaking hunters. <laughs> so it's like, uh, they're not always, you know, peachy clean, you know, if they're going to do what they're going to follow, you know. And plus, having Sam and Dima as an example, going, hey, if they did it, you guys can do it too. How many times has Sam and Dean almost ended the damn world? So it's like, what, we're going to join them? They freaking started the apocalypse. They brought out the darkness. Whole bunch of shit. Like, I don't, even the Leviathans. Like, oh my God. That was like a bad example. But hey, they already had like one hunter already before, 
you know, Mary, but, you know, Mary's different. She has a history. She's a badass hunter. Versus that other guy who Bansi was, like, working with, you know, the Alpha Vampire. Uh, they really should do, like, a little bit more background. Again, that's another thing with the Men of Letters. You'd be saying that you guys are good people, who, like, truly, like, in the true hunters. And, like, that whole bunker, there was, like, no Men of Letters besides Mr. Finch, or whatever the like, man's name is, can't pronounce him, my apologies. But, like, none of them were, like... No, I'm not to kill anything besides the actual hunter himself. So it's like, what's going on, people? You're telling me you got an analyst and freaking people with bookworms, but not one moment you're like, you know what, since you're actually not reading or anything, let's actually teach you guys how to hunt. Like, nothing of like, oh, that magnitude. So I'm like, really? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. And again, they had quote unquote bad info. Like, you had info that the Alpha Vampire was somewhere else for a, a chill accent somewhere else for a decade. Yeah, freaky, we've seen him since season six. So it's like, uh, what kind of information were you reading into? You know, and you knew all about Sam and Dean, but you didn't know about that. But hey, that's me and my opinion. Like or dislike the video, comment below what you thought of the episode. If you're new, please subscribe. I'm the Broke Black Man 94, and I am sending you.